By the way, guys, um, thank you so much for being here. If you are watching this after the fact, um, when we're not live, you know, after the live stream's finished, I do appreciate you being here. Make sure you hit that subscribe button so you can stay up to date with all of our content. And uh, check out my channel and some of the other videos that we have going on. Plenty of pop culture news on the channel. Plenty of videos to check out. I really appreciate that, guys. Thank you very much. So, uh, this one's very, very interesting. I saw this this morning. It came out of nowhere. I'd never even heard of this movie. So, Late Night with the Devil um, achieves a perfect 100% score on Rotten Tomatoes. So, this movie called Late Night with the Devil, it's about a uh, talk show from the 1970s. It features, um, you know, this girl here who's like possessed by a devil um, or a demon to some degree. And stuff starts going on on this talk show. You know, possession kind of antics. But um, it looks really, really interesting. So Late Night with the Devil, the latest found footage style horror film featuring David uh, Demalachain. I can never say I can never say this name. Dem Demalachain um, has received its critical verdict. Critics are praising the movie as equally funny, witty and terrifying. So next week, audiences will experience Late Night with the Devil, a new found footage horror film. There needs to be more found footage horror. I really, really do enjoy found footage, uh, found footage horror. I think it's great. Directed and edited by Australian siblings Cameron and Colin Ka Colin Keynes, I think that's how you say it. The early reviews have brought forth high praise, marking a promising start for the movie's theatrical release. So, with 46 reviews um, at the time of this being ri uh, written, Late Night with the Devil boasts a flawless Rotten Tomato score, earning the coveted Certified Fresh label at 100%. Whenever you hear about a movie that's coming out and the reviews are at 100%, always piques my interest. Even if it's from a genre or a film that I might not necessarily like, when you see a movie it has 100% in every single review, um, unanimously, unanim unanimously agrees that the movie is great, no matter what it is. Um, it always piques my interest and I'm always willing to check out um, a movie if it has 100% rotten to my eyes. So, um, delightfully dark, late night with the devil proves a possession horror isn't played out and serves as an outstanding showcase of David uh, Malachain. I'm going to call him Malachane. I don't know if that's how you pronounce it, so I apologize. Uh, reads the critic consensus. So, the Suicide Squad actor Jack uh, Delroy, host of the fictional 1970s variety and late night talk show titled Night Owls with Jack, uh, Jack Delroy. The film purports to be derived from a rediscovered master uh, tape of an episode from the show's sixth season, broadcast on Halloween in 1977. During this live television broadcast, Havoc unfolds when Delroy interviews a parapsychologist, uh, Laura Gordon, and the subject of her recent book, A Young Teenager, who was the sole survivor of a satanic church's mass suicide. That right there, synopsis, interviewing a young girl who was the sole survivor of a satanic church mass suicide. I'm like, what? <laughs> this sounds crazy. And she's possessed and stuff in the um, talk studio starts happening in front of a live audience. You know, bulbs start smashing and, you know, tables start moving and all kinds of crazy stuff. And uh, yeah, it sounds really, really cool. So everyone has a demon inside them. Jack Delroy's desperate attempt to save his late night talk show unleashes evil into the living rooms of America in late night with the devil opening in theaters March 22. But um, yeah, so Rotten Tomatoes, Late Night with the Devil is officially certified fresh at 100% on Rotten Tomatoes. So um, let's go down. So Late Night with the Devil, origi uh, original, committed, authentic, um, demolishing, um, working out new muscles, carrying every scene with gravitas and depth. He's the pillar of all that rests and he engages with uh, Albom. Film gets bu bumpy in the final act, but lands it well. See it with a crowd. Late Night with the Devil. Um, oh, no. We've already got that one. Um, we've got the same... Oh, we've got the same post here three times. That's not good. So Late Night with the Devil is an instant horror classic directed by Cameron and Colin Ka uh, Colin Cairns. Um, with perfect precision and style, David Demalachain is incredible and gives one of the best performances of the year. Uh, charismatic and gripping from start to end. Yeah, 100%. It sounds absolutely fantastic. I can't wait to see this. Um, this little girl being possessed in a 1970s late night talk show. Um, sounds like a concept we haven't seen before. Late Night Devil is best experienced on a big screen to maximize the viewer brain melt. <laughs> viewer brain melt. I like that. The Malachine has the range, set design, um, practical effects, wild that found footage DNA with heavy 70s drip. It's brilliant. I want to screen this once again and again. 
So, uh, as anticipation builds, release of Late Night with the Devil, the glowing review signal an exciting prospect for horror fans. With the perfect Rotten Tomato score and promising feedback from critics, it's shaping up to be a must-see cinematic experience. So, guys, mark your calendar, check it out at your local theatre if you're interested in this kind of movie. It sounds really cool. The concept sounds unique.